Jesse's passed out. Hey, let me do that. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell him? It wasn't the right time. There you go. What about this? Anything worthwhile? Actually, yeah. Uh, Abby? Uh, no. This girl, Nora, her unit was assigned to this hospital. They were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. Wait, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. Like, at least just wait for Jessie to rest up. She could be gone by then. Helly. We know her location. Maybe Tommy does too. What? Nothing. Good. Can you come help me with the door, please? If I follow Route 5, that should take me to the hospital. Follow Route 5. Track down Nora. Get her to tell me where Abby is. Easy. Yeah, when you put it like that, <laughs> things usually sound pretty easy. But they won't be. Here we go. Here we go, huh? Let <laughs> me just explore around. Uh, there's probably nothing here. Poor Ellie. <laughs> she has to talk for herself now. Oops. This guy is Randy Styles. His name is Randall Styles. Once he was Dr. Alkman's research partner, working late nights to develop all manner of technology for the betterment of mankind, until one day he just vanished. Months later, reports surfaced of Styles showing up in numerous places all over the world, a brief appearance in Mexico, a short stint in Japan, a materialization in the Australian outback. With each visitation, he helps people in need and vanishes again. Some speculate that Styles obtained this ability through an accident with Dr. Alkman's experimental quantum teleporter, though he vehemently denies those claims. He's neutral, he's just teleporting everywhere. That's a really convenient plot device.
Look at this. Uh oh. It's a um, clicky. Gotta go take care of that. Of course. Don't you just love the sound of a clicker in the morning? Come on. You really make me do this. At a store where you know clickers are in there. You, you wanted me to break the window. That's really cruel. But fine, I'm, I am actually kind of curious about like, what's gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, she's not too alarmed. <laughs> this is late and not... I'm tempted to use a flamethrower. Maybe I should. Let's use it. Get him on fire! Get him on fire! Oh, he's on fire. That's good. Why? Oh, we got some updated journals. Let's see. Jess is here. This is good. He can help protect Dina. It felt good having him around to deal with the WLF. Maybe he can help us find his people more quickly. I don't want to hear anything about turning back. I don't know. Maybe it's a good idea for them to for for they for for them to turn back together. Cause you can't send Dina back alone. But you can't just ignore the fact that she's pregnant. That's just just a little bit of a big deal here. Some people might consider it of some small significance. Some people like Jesse, who was probably the father. I mean, I think he would be a little upset that if he's not. He says he doesn't care anymore, but I'm not entirely sold on that. Stuff. Okay, upgrade. Let detect enemies at a greater distance. Yes.
Ooh, feel her love. Again. Feel her love. What the fuck? That's a valid question. Feel her love. Who the fuck are these people? What did it, why did they do this? Um... Oh. What mm. is this about? <coughs> maybe this will help? Uh, maybe not. Give me that brick. Just breaking stuff because I like it. Hey. Know what? I have an idea. I... I don't see how this is an idea. How is it supposed to work? I think I gotta I gotta break one of those glasses up there for it to to actually be an idea and maybe you can help let's see which one I should be breaking um, hopefully this will break glass on both sides that's what I'm hoping not actually sure what it's going to happen here actually just move ahead a little bit I think this is a little too far if you know what I mean fuck it let's try it oh I kind of need it. Can I have another one? I know this is a little bit greedy on my part, but kind of need another brick or. Are uh, you telling me I have to go downstairs just to find a brick? No, I'm afraid I don't have that kind of patience, so I'm just gonna have to be just a little bit wasteful here. Come on, Mr. Rope. You have an important task. Oh. How about we try it here? Perfect! Maybe we could just run up there and grab it! Uh, nicely done, Ellie. Little swing will do. Here we go. Right. What we got? Let's open it up. Got another trading card. Let's see what it is. Shift. Shift.
shift his real name is Gale Price. He's a hero, I guess. At first glance, Gale Price looks and acts like a typical teenager, mood swings and all. But those mood swings power her ability to increase the velocity of matter. When happy, she directs this power outwards, increasing the speed of her allies and throwing her enemies off balance. When sad, she directs this power inward, allowing her to outrun her enemies and making the rest of the world feel sluggish. Though powerful, she is an unpredictable ally. And an easy target for the mind manipulation tricks of motivator. She's neutral hero. Like, what the hell is a neutral hero? If it's a sh if she's a hero, how is she neutral? I guess that's kind of like Grey Jedi. Simon, I hope you never read this note. I hope I can crumple it up, burn it when you return for us. It's been... I don't know how many hours since you left, I went out to look for you and these hooded people spotted me. They shouted at me, called me a sinner, then started the shooting. I ran back in and barricaded the door. All I can hear is the rain, but I'm worried they're still out there. Should I run? Should I stay? I feel completely paralyzed. I'm sorry I got so sick. I'm sorry I let you go to the hospital by yourself. I'm sorry I didn't stay hidden like you told me. If anything happens to me, I want you to know how much I love you. Please come back. I'm so scared, Paige. Yeah. Ooh. Sad stories everywhere. And awfully nice for pretty much all of them to leave some kind of written record so we can remember this story for them to put it in a romantic way. Need painkillers, vitamins, antacids, and a thermometer. So I guess that covers this building. And there we go. Alright, let's move on. Uh. Wonder if there's anything we can upgrade right now. No? Pity. Of course it's locked. Well, I guess the bar is closed. And do you have any goodies in you, Mr. Truck? I don't think so. Hang on. Well, somebody was trying to repair this car, I'm guessing this guy. Trying to climb that. Didn't work. Just to gain some perspective. So that's the way we should be heading into, but obviously it's inaccessible now. Or it does for following the street. I wonder if this wall was I don't think this wall was here before. I guess it's kind of a quarantine zone, so they erected a wall here. Yeah, this is supposed to be the highway. Shit. Well, of course, it's never going. It's never going to be that simple. All right. Uh, any luck? Uh. <laughs> Wow. I think this leads to the same place. Alright, dark, creepy place. It's the only door I can open. Oh. Hello. Uh, I can't get it out of that small door. I gotta open this one. But opening this one is probably gonna be loud and it's gonna attract a lot of enemies. So I'm just gonna be thorough here.
by the time I'm playing this, I think I've only uploaded like four episodes of it, so I have had some time to re to re rewatch some of the previous playthroughs, and it's really amazing just how vivid and well acted these characters are, especially in the cutscenes. I mean, the cutscenes and the play uh, game plays they are all blurred together now. And the micro expressions, the, the sheer acting in them, it's just incredible. Okay, we probably need something to hold this. Or not. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe oh. th this is just a bit of a puzzle sequence. Okay, let's point it to the door. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes. I'm surprised too. That's pretty smart, Ellie. It is pretty smart, and guess who thought it up? This guy. You shall not deter me. Neither will you. Wonder if it's smart to open these doors. I want to read that. Uh, Lake Hill Seattle Hospital. I think this is it. Watch for a big red sign. That's always how it works in The Last of Us. You have a big uh, landmark building to look out for in the distance, and you gradually make your way out there. This looks like this looks like a maze. Yikes. Um Oh, this is some kind of Comic Con. Okay, let's try to get down there without dying. So maybe if I drop there, then I can safely drop down. place doesn't seem to have a lot to offer. Oh, Fedra? Does Fedra have anything for me? We really should check under these sheets. So what kind of place is this? The Nomad, what is that? Yikes. Oh. 
Well, that probably explains the stink. Also, the toilet. I don't want to die in or near any toilet. Just as a general rule. Wolf. Serves you right. Oh, it's like you almost heard us. Light, don't do this to me. That actually scared me. <sighs> Great. Well, this guy's dead, so. Was th was that was that a what fucking parkour zombie? How does that work? Stalkers. Fuck. Uh. Find a way out of here. Just quick hash up. What what are supposed to be stalkers? What should I do about them? Shit. How do I get outside? Yep, that's a pretty good question. Let's get out by getting out of this room first. Uh, not feeling good about this. And I'm not sensing. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, there's one over there. Maybe I should just throw a bottle to distract them. Okay, I'm gonna throw a bottle over there. Right. Okay, at least get them away temporarily, but they are fast, man. Well, this is officially the first place I have no desire to check out. Uh, you. Well, glad to know I can still kill you. another one here okay okay get away from me Okay, need to run, need to run, need to run! <laughs> okay, okay, you're good. You're good. I'm sure that distracted them just fine. Fuck. 
Fuck it. I'm probably gonna end up having to kill them all anyway, so this whole stealth idea really isn't gonna pan out. Come on now! How many are left? This place. Holy shit! Good. How do I get out of here? Holy shit. If I knew that, we wouldn't have to stay here and kill all of them. But the good thing is, Alec. Ellie can survive a lot. She really can. As long as some, not something that kills her instantly, like click her, she can basically survive it. We go. Whoa. The next. Okay. Head down to the street. Oh, what is this? I don't like this place. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not even fucking trying. Uh, the last one was a bit of a misfire. I see you, god damn it. Ah! 
Oops. I'd like my arrows back. So headshots can preserve arrow. I think that's I think that's the deal. Mm -mm. Oh sorry about your arm man. Wait. <sighs> Anybody else? Okay. Time to go. That was definitely not in an optimal uh, performance, by the way. Gotta be a way out of here. I don't have a lot of books in this. I mean, there is still a considerable amount of books, but considering the bookshelf. Well, this is where the enemies were coming from, so chances are we were supposed to go down here. I should be using the shotgun a little more because they're giving me a lot of shotgun ammo here. Thank you. Oh, what is that sound I'm hearing? Come on. Here Give me a go. break. Come on! Oh man! Oh well. Just learn to take a hint! We're not gonna be able to swim against this, so let's just see the end of it. Fuck Seattle. Yeah, seriously. I mean, not really, but in this context, yeah. Need to get out of here. Anything underwater? Oh wow. <laughs> I didn't actually expect to find anything. Let me just go back to make sure I, I check things thoroughly. Oh wait. The thoroughly probably means getting up there, so let me just go back. Uh, yeah, I'm going back and forth because I like to keep the main quest later but I don't usually know which way it's going to be not when I'm playing the game for the first time oh god you gotta be kidding me Thank God for Ellie's little knife. Like it never runs out. We don't even have to sharpen it. It's magic. Right.
I think there's something over there. Hell yeah. Come to Papa. Am I going to be able to reach that? As it turns out, no. Gonna have to work out a way. Where is this leading me to? Careful, Ellie! Good job. Uh, get me the hell out of here. Something dramatic is gonna happen up there. I'm just calling it. You just know when they make you climb something this long and you have to do this. Something is loading up there. Alright. Where the hell did I end up? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it's just loading up level. Uh, real tickets. Oh, we're in a subway station. That's good. I guess that's good. Okay. You are here. And the hospital's there. Cut through the park. Right. Wait, let me see that again. I'm supposed to be going to... I'm never very good with the maps and all that. If I'm on a, like a, a part of the city I'm not familiar with, I just gotta hob all these uh, indicators and the maps and the signposts. I can asshole for for a few minutes to figure out the northwest southeast. <laughs> oh shit! What is that yonder? I'm gonna use one of these right now. Okay. Ow! This isn't happening very well. Uh, actually. Stop it! Ah, oh, can't manufacture them anymore. Not really doing all that well with them, but they are human, so kind of eat. Oops. Ah! 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 
Okay, you're gonna die pretty painfully. Come on now! You didn't you did not see me. I'm pretty close to you too. Can't aim like this. Okay. I guess these are scars. Eat shit. Jesus. These must be the scars. Yeah, pretty terrifying. Where? Hospital. You better not have strung her up. I don't know, man. They seem to have taken over this area. Doesn't look good for us. Okay, here's the road to the hospital. I wish I still had a horse. That's at least the second horse that we got killed. We probably shouldn't ask for more horses. All things considered. Wanna see that? Uh, scars, fuck these people. Stay focused on why you're here. Stay focused on why you're here. Yeah, sure, Scar seems to be just a distraction right now. Enemy to your enemy, things like that. But I'm, I got a feeling that they're gonna be pretty major very soon. They may even... They may even become our major concern. Like they're a little supernatural, even though that's kind of ridiculous to say. They're not infected, but they're not really just like the ordinary human enemies we face. Who's making that noise? Please stop. It's like nobody else is collecting these. What is wrong with this kid? Did he? Is he climbing out of a morgue? Doppelganger. Real name unknown. A strange being of unknown origin, this alabaster skinned humanoid with yellow eyes is capable of assuming the shape of anyone you need him or her to be. The only catch, they need to make physical contact with the person you wish them to impersonate. The resemblance is near perfect, though if you look closely, you'll see their eyes give a glint of yellow after the transformation. So if you ever see a friend wearing sunglasses at an inappropriate time, you'd best, you'd best be on your guard. A character like that to be neutral could be a pretty big problem. But also could be a pretty lazy plot point. Just saying. By plot point, I'm actually mean plot device. Just you know, some of the issues you can just have 
him be the final twist, the big revelation. And because he has no affiliation, it carries very little risk or consequences. I'm just reading too much into a fictional comic in a fictional game. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions a bit too quick. This is gonna be locked. Oops, it's not. Oh no, my infallible judgment. My unbroken record of always being right. Whatever shall I do? Nope. Oh, this is locked. So hey, I'm just gonna consider myself right for this once. Cause like it doesn't make any difference, right? You open this door, but there's nothing in there. Okay, somebody's been camping here. Okay, let's read your sad story. If anyone finds this note, my wife Paige is waiting for me back in the old conference center at the Pycon Convention. That sucks. Ooh, I just saw hers. Right across from, a, from the Brook pub. Please take her this medicine. She's pregnant and could die without it. I thought I could make it, but I've lost too much blood. I was sprinting through the woods, heard some whistles, and then an arrow pierced my side. I ducked into this place, think I'm safe, can't get any worse, right? Starting to feel cold. Stole this medicine from the hospital, should have grabbed some blood too. Bad joke, never mind. <laughs> She'll tell you. I'm always making bad jokes. <laughs> if you fight Paige, tell her I went peacefully. Tell her I hope they live happy lives. Tell her I love her. Yeah, she's gonna believe that you went peacefully. Like anybody still does that in this world. And tell her if it's a boy, don't name the kid after me. Go with the name we picked. Simon Vickers. Was there a body to a wife's note? I forgot. Here we go. I think I can fit. Fast enough. Now he is free. I can kill now this guy. He's free. Uh, Henry, we're under fire. Hurry, keep him over there. Oops, did they see me? Like really intense right now. Yes, call them away. Who's seeing me?
Ah, fuck me. Using right now the silencer. It sucks, sucks that that one died. I wonder if it's possible to save him. That would be really messy if we actually open fire on them at that point. Totally got got it. Ah, there you are. I think that is the only one left. I'm not usually that into hunting games. And I've obviously never went hunting for real. But hey, here we go. Oh, she's got a scimitar? Is that how you say it? Swap that, it's actually kind of neat. So what? There's still more enemies around? Oh, come on now. You guys. Just for a little old me? Okay, more guys up there. I think maybe this is the part where they made the the E3 trailer. I seem to remember something about this. It was a big action sequences. Really thrilling stuff, except I am doing this stealthily now. Oh, oh, that's clever of you. Go on. Quiet. Somebody's upstairs. Oh, 
Hidden booties. Guys, wearing anyway. How many of them are around? Okay. Let's do one. Oh shit! Get the wolf! Shit. Oh, you just walked into that one. Shit. Ah, oh, this is why I always have to reload everything. What is that still not everyone? <laughs> At least I think I'm back on stealth mode oops This just takes me to the familiar roads, I think. So there are obviously multiple ways for me to get it back up. Were they actually talking like this? Oops. <laughs> Shit. Well, I hope didn't. I hope they didn't hear anything. Here's hoping against hope.
Ah, uh, he's coming this way. This is how it ends. Holy shit. Oh, damn the city. And where's that fucking hospital? I'm almost out of ammo for everything. Well, I'm pretty full on arrows, <laughs> if that's any help. the hospital. I'm guessing I have to cross that. Oh, uh, seriously? Come on. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> You motherfucker! Oh, that's hard. That hurts. Stop it! I gotta heal. Oh, come on. Oh, it was poisoning me? Or it was bleeding me for some reason? Alright. Jesus! Ow! That really fucking hurts, asshole! Okay, that was a pretty tough fight. Reload now. Good job. Well, we still got shot, so take that out. Come on. Oh, he's gonna get it. I know you're out there. Uh, 
And how is that supposed to help you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I got the big hammer. Right. Hospital. Oops. Let's try this. Uh, organic okay. chemistry. Craft explosive arrows. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, okay, I think that is the last big category that we're going to unlock. This totally looks like a shooter run area. It's gonna be here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to read this. Bat Mandar, home planet of Neptune. Once the solar system's most notorious pirate, Neptunian Bot Mandar became known for hijacking resupply ships, threatening the nascent colonies on Europe and Europa and uh, Enceladus with starvation. Pursued by the future alliance into the asteroid belt, she flew her ship too close to a mysterious wormhole and found herself back in the 21st century. Though she initially enjoyed her newfound superiority, she quickly became frustrated by the limitations of her 21st century technology and a sort of spark. Her offer, her knowledge of the future in exchange for a way back in her own time. That seems reasonable. Uh. 
Hey. One of these. Nope. Don't know the combination yet. Gotta search for clues. So far, I think we're doing pretty good with these saves. I think we have opened every single one we have encountered. It's vastly better than what I, how I did in Resident Evil 3, which is like one safe and I didn't agree, but wasn't able to crack it. Right, what can we do about these? Uh, I think I'm gonna do some upgrade on the... Let's try the rifle. Add a scope to aim at a distant target with greater accuracy. That, that'll that be great. Stability. Yeah, let's just focus on this one. I thought it was going to be enough. Well, maybe next time. Oh, hey, can do something about this. Let's increase the draw speed. Wow, look at her. Bye safe, see you later. How did I get here again? <laughs> oh. They talking about me? Wait, Isaac. Fuck are they talking about? Isaac is with the WLF, so Isaac is not the one running the scars. Yeah, who escaped? I don't think they're talking about me.
Oh, this is the PlayStation Vita player. Don't make a fucking sound. Hands up. Do you know a girl named Nora? Sure, yeah. Where is she? In the hospital. Where in the hospital? Yeah, they're, they're clearing out the upper floors. She's somewhere in there. Wrong move, girl. I wonder what she's playing. Can anybody tell me what she's playing? Because I don't know a lot of PlayStation Vita games. I bet some some of you out there can just take a look at that and immediately tell me what it is. 